Tyler, and I'm the artist who did uh, some of these prints, all, all of these prints up here. Is the and still here? I, uh, I didn't just randomly yeah. choose images, but I chose um, the one on the left is it's an ode to Guernica, and we all remember what happened at Guernica, right? It was a horrible bombing by the Nazis in the 1930s to test out their new machines of war, new weapons, weapons of, of truly of mass destruction. And they rained death down on a helpless people. And in the picture, if you look to the top of it, there's three helicopters. And obviously those were not around during the Guernica period, so where do they come from? Well, they came from a plant called Boeing, and they were shipped to a place in uh, Southeast Asia during the late 1960s and 70s. And there was another Guernica-type incident there where the place was bombed to smithereens, leaving the land in wreck and ruin. Today's International Human Rights Day, which means that we all have the, uh, the same need to be free of violence and free from oppression, oppressive governments. And where you see an oppressive government, you should take a stand against it. You know, to talk history to an older crowd is it's a little backwards because I'm younger. But I can play a small children's game and do a real generational flip and play connect the dots. This dot connects to that dot, connects to this dot, and they form a picture. All right, now you can see the literal picture that I drew, and there's also a metaphorical picture. And it's, it, it comes back to the same source, and in my opinion, and I think a few others here would agree that it's imperialism, it's the United States government, and it's been doing its thing for a very long time now, and Vietnam was bad, and if you thought Vietnam was bad, Try predator drone, drones, uh, try nuclear weapons, try used up uranium. All this stuff is currently happening in the Middle East. And so if we want to make an ode to human rights, let's stop the violence and stop wars and bring the troops home.